A Human Rights Watch report says the government of Rwandan President Paul Kagame is using violence and fear to silence critics at home and around the world. It is a relentless attack on individuals using a multiplicity of tools and tactics to try and keep people silent. President Kagame is credited with helping to unify Rwanda after the 1994 genocide. Noel Zihabamwe was a young boy at the time and witnessed family and friends murdered. Ten years later, he fled the country after refusing to join Kagame's ruling party, the Rwandan Patriotic Front. He was interviewed by Human Rights Watch. I know many people who have refused to become members and they end up either being jailed or uh, they all disappearing. So that's how I left Rwanda. After he left, Ziha Bamwe says his two brothers and his nephew were arrested in Rwanda. They tortured them. So they were with my, also my, my brother's uh, son, first son, who was 19. There's many, many, many thousands of people being disappeared and they're still missing as we speak today. Human Rights Watch has documented five cases of killings and several kidnappings and physical assaults of Rwandans living elsewhere in Africa. But we also see it in Europe where we've seen that there have been threat to life uh, warnings against individuals in the United Kingdom. We've seen individuals who've also had their family members targeted. We've had individuals who've been subject to um, um, the misuse of international law enforcement mechanisms. Rwanda is seen as a key partner by many Western nations. President Kagame has overseen one of the fastest growing African economies. Kagame's government is also accused of supporting an ongoing insurgency by rebel groups in neighbouring Democratic Republic of Congo, which it denies. Because of the failure of governments for their own interests standing up to Rwanda, we've seen Rwanda's extensive abuses now being carried out globally. The Rwandan government said the Human Rights Watch report presents a distorted picture that only exists in their imagination. The government added it had made transformational progress in advancing the rights, well-being and dignity of Rwandans over the past 29 years. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.